Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a portfolio with Google Sites. So as you can see right here, we can already see several templates that we can use. This one is probably just for some general website. This one is going to help you to create a portfolio. This one is to create event. And this one is for help center. And if you would like to take a look at more gallery, you can click on template gallery and it's going to show you even more templates that you can use, such as this one's for small business, this one, for educations and this one is for student portfolio so there is two type of portfolio that you can create which is the general portfolio as well as the student portfolio right here and you can also choose to create everything from scratch if you want but i'm just going to start with this portfolio templates right here all right so this is how it looks like First, we're going to see that the theme is mainly in white and blue. And let's say that you don't really like how it looks like for now because it's probably too bland. You can go ahead and click on theme on the navigation bar on the right side of your screen. And you can either create your own theme by clicking on this customs right here. And you can name your theme. You can add your logo, add a banner image and then choose your palette colors or you can also customize the color by adding hex code on every colors that you want to be inputted or click on this color balls right here and then choose on the colors that you want and then you can also choose on the font that you will want to use throughout your portfolio or if you don't want to customize it you can also import your theme you can try to search your theme probably on Google. Let's say you want to try to find Google Sites Themes. And through there, you'll be able to see on the selections of themes that you can use for your Google Sites. And then upload it on the portfolio that you're working on. Or you can also just choose on the uh, selections of theme that you will be able to see below the customizations of theme so the first one actually comes with a simple theme i'm just going to use the diplomat one i think it looks good and i'm going to choose the phone style in light and i can also change on the colors of my font through here i'm gonna go with the red for now and here you'll be able to see on the pages that you will got on your site. So the first one is going to be the home page. And then the second one is the about page. And the third one is the project page. Let's start with the home page one. So here I already have some wording. So let's say that I'm going to change the header instead of it's going to be my name. Let's say that I'm going to say my portfolio. Then yes, let's say I'm just going to leave it as it is. Hi, my name is blah, blah, blah. And then I am blah, blah, blah from which location. And then I can also choose on the colors of my portfolio. I kind of like how it looks like with the red color as the background. So I'm going to use this color as the background. And then on my home page, I can also show my works or my project on these sections right here. So it actually comes with several boxes. Let's say that I only want to put three. All I have to do is click on the box that I don't want to add into my portfolio and then click on this trash bin right here and it's going to delete the box or if i want to delete the entire sections all i have to do is click on the trash bin symbols besides the section and it's going to delete the entire section so each box actually comes with a different element embed inside of it and this one actually comes in the size of presentation. And once you click on it, it's going to show all of the presentation that you created with your Google account. So let's say I'm going to add this one to 
this part right here which is one of the project that I have or like maybe this one since the one that I chose earlier actually does not come in Google Sites file type but I was working on it on Polaris so you can only insert it if it comes in you know Google Apps so I'm going to use this one instead for an example and this one comes in the form of pictures but you can change it if you don't want to give the pictures by clicking on the gear symbol on top right of the box and then you'll be able to select on which files will you want that specific box to be so let's say i want to change it again in the form of google slides click on update and then i'm just going to choose more slides all right so i ended up making the third box also as the google slide and then you can also change the name of each project i'm just going to leave it as it is for now and then you can also add your email address through here or you can also change it if you want for example you want it to be contact me and then you can start adding maybe your phone number and you can use emoji as your symbolism let's say i want to find phone i'm going to use maybe this one and then i'm going to add my number through here then maybe i want to add email all right now that we got that i'm going to align it so it's going to be in the middle of my page instead of all the way on the left side and then i'm going to change the color so it's going to have the same colors with the rest of my portfolio all right now that we're done with the home page we're going to go to our about page and it's basically the same with the first one i'm not going to change anything from here but let's say i just want to change the colors of this section to be like this as well as this one's right here all right and as for the project page i kind of want to link my g drive work through here and as you can see we have the picture section but what i'm going to do is i'm going to type in here as take a look at some of my work and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this insert link options right here and I'm going to put my G drive that contains of my work into this link sections right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on apply. I'm actually going to edit it so that the text will only show this. So once that people click on this wordings right here, they'll be able to open my G Drive and they'll be able to see on some of the work that I've already worked with in the past. And then you'll be able to see on how your website will look like in several different devices. If you click on this one's right here, it will show when someone is looking at it through their phone. This one is through tablet and this one is through large screen. And once you're done with your portfolio, you can go ahead and click on publish. Then let's say you want to name it as my porto. And apparently because we're using the Google Sites URL, it's going to be a little bit tricky when we're trying to name this web because it might already been taken by other people, but you can also use a custom domain if you want. So let's say it's going to be my porto, my test porto, and see if it's available. Okay, it's available, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. Then I'm going to go ahead and click on publish. And now that it's published, I'm going to take a look at how it looks like. So this is my project, and the one that actually have slides on it are interactive so you'll be able to see the whole page of the presentation by clicking on the arrow below each presentation 
And uh, let's take a look at the project page that we've created earlier. So this is the G drive that I copied link into. And I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And it opened the exact same one. All right, so that is it. That is how you can create a portfolio with Google Sites. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.